Alright, boys and girls, welcome to Season 11. This is our first Leona game of Season 11. We're going to be showing you guys the new Mythic items. Now, Leona is definitely 100% going to be having a new build. I've been reading through the items, and I've been theory crafting. I'm thinking Zeke's Convergence, which was totally reworked from the ground up, is a totally new item now, is really, really good with Leona. This is going to be your core item on Leona. So you're going to go Boots, Zeke's Convergence, and then build a Mythic item. And we'll get into that once we get there. But Zeke's Convergence, look at this. When you immobilize an enemy for the next four seconds, your accomplice's attacks and abilities deal 30 magic damage, and this can trigger once per attacker ability per enemy. Actually crazy. Ah, oh, it's doing the bug again, guys. All right, we're gonna have to play with the uh, kind of wonky, uh, wonky hot keys. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what Leona looks like in season 11. We're against Ash, Soraka, very, very killable lane. Close, close, close. Get this thing off me. What's good in the new items? Dude, there's a ton of really, really good new items. There's new, good new tank items. There's good new mythics. Um, if you guys, if this is your first video you've watched about Season 11, uh, and you don't know what mythics are. Oh, that should be a kill. Bye bye Mythics are brand new, intentionally super, super OP items because you are locked into buying only one of them. You can only buy one of them per uh, per champion. And it's supposed to give you like all these new strategic decisions of like, you know, opens up gameplay avenues of how you want to approach the game. You know, do you want to be tankier? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And they're really, really, really strong. Uh, they've also just reworked like pretty much every item changed all the stats around, changed how it plays when you buy it, reworked the item shop, lots and lots of new changes. Uh, but some things never change, so we're going to go back and rush our boots. Grab that. I need to change a couple of my hotkeys because this is kind of bugging out. Well, the menu looks uh, cleaner as well. I think they did some work on this. Yeah, they definitely did. They definitely changed the menu. Oh. Alright, nice. We got level 3. Should be able to just, like, fight constantly now. I'm staying on her. I'm staying on her. Kill the ash, boys. Ooh. There we go, baby. How many times did we just catch her there? Three? Ooh. It's Warwick, yo. Wait. 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 No! Lucian's here, too. Oh, my God. We're getting four, man. Hey. You know what? Like I said, some things never change, boys. We getting four man in bot lane. Alright, so we want to see what we need to do to build Zeke's. Grab that. Still well played? Oh, thank you, thank you. You can play that pretty well, too. I should have all my hotkeys good now. How you been? What's up? Hey, I'm good, man. I'm trying out new stuff in Season 11. Guys, if we've already done a uh, video on Cinna. What Cinna's going to look like in Season 11. She's got a brand new mythic. It's really, really fun and cool. Go check out that video if you want to see that. And uh, stay tuned if you want to see how Leona looks. But yeah, we're just probably going to try out every single champion, every single support. See what their new core build is. So what the new secret OP builds are. You better back up, girl. You better back up. Mm. Oh, we 
Make it the four man now. Let's go. Yes. Hey, how's it feel? Not as fun from the other side, is it? Oh, hit him. Nice try, nice try. So again, every time we Zeeks, or at, once we get our Zeeks, every time we stun someone, it's just a ton of extra damage. Because one, they'll be popping our passive, and two, they'll be popping our Zeeks. Like, th this item is pretty much made for Leona. Hmm. Get him. I think I can stay to get my demolish proc off or else I die. Alright, uh, we need 50 gold to get our tier 2 boots. Probably just want to go back. We don't want to, we don't want to die here. Well, I, I just don't think I can get in on that, man. I think I just die. Sorry, my friend. Where's my Swifties? They're hiding them from me. There they are. There they are. All right, once we get level six, we are we are good to go. So this is a 2,400 gold item. Honestly, this is definitely like balanced in a way that supports will definitely. This is this is a support item still. That's good because it is quite strong. Later. All right, so let's talk. Let's start talking about mythics. So we've got two categories here. We've got support mythics, uh, which is I'm not sure why it's showing like Sunborn Aegis. I'm not thinking that any of those are going to be the play. Locket of the Iron Solari. Let me tell you why Locket of the Iron Solari is really good for Leona. Outside of the obvious synergy with her name, um, Locket is not a very good item on currently talking about in season 10 because it has no CDR. And the thing with Leona is that you lit, you get CDR, and then you get, you basically get resistances by building CDR because you can keep your W up more frequently. Basically, once you get 40% CDR and put a couple points into W, you get like 100% uptime on your on your uh, W. So by building CDR, you get tanky, right? Now it's got CDR. Well, they're calling it ability haste, but it's the same thing. And the values on it are just like really, really good. Okay, okay, okay. Pike just got a trillion gold. Very nice. Hey, he gave me some of it too. So we've also got Shirelia's. That's pretty much untouched. It does the same thing. Berserker Suit, which is Righteous Glory. Uh, we'll definitely be trying that one out on Leona because I love building that item. But since it's a mythic now, I'm not sure that's going to be the way to go. Locket is definitely tailored in a way that it, it's affordable, right? It's a 2,600 uh, gold item. And it's going to be really, really good. Like, the, they literally, like, doubled. They more than doubled the shield the shield that it gives. Just going to grab that, grab that. Ooh, the components to buy this are really good, too. Very affordable. And they give you, uh, they bump up your haste. I think it did, Han. I heard one go off. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. We'll go through them after the game. Oh, we. I think we win this because we just stall this for Jin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I misplayed that, dude. I, I missed my E on Jin. If I had hit my E on Jin, I think we would, I would I would have won that without dying. They still win this. They win this for sure. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. 
I need 300 gold to get my Zeke's. I'm coming with ulti, lads. These new items look so weird, though. Uh, she's probably diveable. Mm, if they bring their mid, might be in trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Hit him with the E flash. Alright, I got my Zeke's now. It's time to go back. We got our first finished item of Leona on season 11. Alright, let's check this bad boy out. So I think on some champions, it's going to be efficient to go through Mythics first. But I think on other champions, specifically a lot of support champions, it's probably going to be better to get an item and then build your Mythic. Because the way it works is you get Mythic passives. So it grants all other legendary items to 2 armor and 2 magic assist increase to Iron Aura. So by already having this item, I just think Zeke's is going to be your rush item. I know some champions will probably rush their Mythic item, but... We'll experiment with that a bit. Alright. Designate an accomplice. Who wants to be my accomplice? Jin, Jin you want to be my accomplice, dude? You want to get into all kinds of trouble together? Alright, you're my accomplice. Now notice, they act, they also increase the... Uh, there used to be no cooldown on Zeke's. So like, if you have it binded to your ADC and then your ADC dies, you can just put it on someone else. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's, there's an animation for it too. Did you guys see that? There's like a red streak that goes off when he activates it. Wait, look, wait. We triggered it three times right there. In that one fight. We only triggered it once there. Wow. Okay, so you can you can activate it with your Q. Then you can get it with your E, or vice versa. Seems pretty sick. Like, it really just feels like you've got, like, a super, super much stronger version of your passive to pop now. Oh, shoot. Dead. Woo! Here we go, baby! Alright, so in the literal one minute I've had it, we've done 300 extra damage. You know what, let's limit test. Let's limit test. Well, we found our limit, guys. We found our limit. Alright, now we go, now we start looking for our mythic. All right, so let's let's see let's see how efficient this ability haste is. My cooldown for my W is 8.33 seconds. I buy this, and now it's an entire second off. And both of these components are going to give ability haste. Yo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking lock of the iron solari is like a shoe in for the mythic that you want to go for Leona. Also, not to mention the the shield is math massive. We have got thirty five ability haste. Hey, 
Okay, we've done 420 damage with our Zeke's Blaze. Okay, so right there we did about 100 extra damage. Yeah, so it really just feels like it's like a, a, a better version of Leona's passive, which will also be popping. Yeah, this, yeah, this item's really good for all ends. All end champions. Ah, uh, turret. Turret. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rebind it to no oh shoot. No. If I had rebinded my my conduit to Nautilus there, I would have we would have killed Ash. If I had rebinded it before he died. That's alright, I got my locket now. Hey, we're learning, boys. We're learning these things. So that's gonna be pretty clutch. Like, let's say we're fighting, we're fighting, right? I binded my Zeke's to Jin. We're fighting, Jin dies, I rebind the, the conduit. Right? I rebind the convergence to someone else, like Nautilus right there. Alright, so let, let's, let's take a look at this shield. 250 plus 10 shield. That's my active. And it's got an aura again. So it's got, I'm just giving everybody, I'm making everyone tanker just by standing around them. So it makes Leona a little less worthless, like in team fights. Yeah, this is going to be the build, guys. Zeke's and Locket are going to be core on Leona for sure. I can never play this game again with the new. You'll learn. You'll learn them again. Don't worry. I'll help you learn them. Hey, that's what you have me for. Thank you for the hundred bits. All right, Kondo back on him. So close to killing him. All right, we get, we got one. Warwick's coming from over here. Yo, Jin is flying though. Jin is flying. He's so fast. He's so fast, bro. He just dashed through him. What is this? What am I watching? What? Um. Um. Uh, Okey dokey. Jin just slid through them. Alright, so let's start looking at legendaries. I don't think Knight's Vow is going to be the play. Yeah, Knight's Vow is not the play anymore on, on uh, Leona. I'm thinking either... It's another just... Hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe just Thornmail? Be a good way to get Grievous Wounds on him. And still be tanky. I'm going Thornmail. Yo, look how fat, dude, that's not even fair. That's not even fair. <laughs> Let's go. Gargoyle. Now, now Gargoyle stone plate, I think it's still gonna be a good item, but it's not gonna be a rush item like it used to be. This where we go. Oh, we found him. Come out with your hands up. Boom. I have no hands. Classic ADC player. Oh, let's see. Oh my god. You guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Okay. Lock it. I'm big. 
Oh. Okay. We take it. Alright, we just need to play around Jen at this point. Who is dead? Alright, Bramble Vest. So this straight up gives me the, uh... I don't think they changed anything about Thornmail, did they? Okay. Yo, we got a 17 kill ADC. That's pretty lit. Oh! Immobilizing enemy champions also applies 60%. Wow, okay, they did change it. It's buffed? And it's buff specific. It's going to be a good item on Leona, I think. Good lord. to kill this guy, but we can just CC him for our fast ADC to two-shot him. LOL, dude. Alright, we don't, we don't have a wave, guys. It'll be hard to take this turret. Let's go mid. Run it down on them, boys. Why not? Why not? Let's let's engage on the tank. Let's see what happens. Get him, Pike. Oh, nice try, nice try. Oh, don't let him kill me. Oh, I got one. I got one. Nice. Mm. I think if I block that, Ash just walks up and kills me. I don't know. I don't know if blocking it was the play. Good lord. Oh, I forgot to put the conduit back on Jen. We could have been doing so much more bonus damage. Hi guys. So this is our first game of Leona with the new items in Season 11. This is what I think is going to be a really good build for. Uh, you know, obviously this is our very first game, so we don't know. But this is my best guess as the authority on Leona. Uh, definitely think Locket's going to be her mythic. And I really think Zeke's is going to be a great item on her. So let me know what you guys think about the build down in the comments. We're going to be popping out much more uh, PvE content videos for you guys. So here's the damage chart. Uh, obviously, Jin did a pretty insane amount. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know who you guys want to see me play next down in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, take it easy, boys. Peace out.